Good evening everyone and in today's video Motorola Edge. This smartphone has a pretty big screen, 6.5 inches, 144 hertz, 1200 nits, HDR supported, MediaTek Density 820 chip, 6 nanometers, charger included, uh, it's a big charger, there's also cable, I'm going to have uh, earbuds, no, that's all the accessories. 8 GB of RAM, 256 GB of ROM, UFC 3.1, so the latest, and of course Android 13. 4400 mAh battery, 68 watt charger, and wireless 15 watts, dual camera 50 megapixel. Look that fake skin at the back, wow, that lens is huge. Looks pretty nice. You can buy them in three different colors. Feels very nice in the hand. Power button, volume buttons, microphone, two antennas, Dolby Atmos logo, another antennas, SIM card tray. Oh, that skin. It's cool. Okay, SIM card tray, speaker, made in China. Microphone is an USB Type C port. Let's power it on. Hello, Moto. We forgot about the case. Yes, we do have a case and some papers. SIM card tool. And there it is. That's a case. Pretty hard case. It's not a soft. It's a hard plastic. Ah, uh, that's. Quite unusual case, I must say. It feels slippery of the case. Hmm. I'm not sure about that case. It will protect your cameras, of course. But it won't protect your screen. I mean, a little bit at the bottom, at the top. Hmm. I don't know. Check out how responsive that screen is. Wow. But in N60 Hz, we can switch to 144, and that is a huge difference. Wow. Definitely best for gaming and just viewing stuff. I like that wallpaper, it's pretty good. Built in speakers. Tons of customization and it sounds, I can hear, really, really good. One of the best sounding speakers. I'm not talking about the game, but the sound itself. Beautiful sounding. Benchmarks. In single core, 1083, that's not too much. And in a multi, 3500, and that is a lot. It's a flagship territory. Internal memory, read 955 and write 300. That's also a flagship territory, which is really good. We have really good internal memory. Gaming, of course, pop G. Maximum settings all the way. Let's try it out. Don't see any glitches. It's all smooth, at least for now. Gently, no issue at all. 60 frames, pretty cool. I mean, gaming looks okay, I guess. It's all fine. I love the speakers. I just, wow, beautifully sounding speakers. You can literally hear everything. Fingerprint sensor is fairly quick. 
Wow. Camera. And in the camera department, we of course have slow motion, which I will show you that in a second. Video, but in 4K, only 30 frames per second. 60 is for full HD, unfortunately. Pictures. This is a 50 megapixel ultra shot. Let me just zoom in. Wow. Now that's a picture. Regular photos. Of course, front facing camera. Very nice. Also in wide angle. Portrait mode. Check out the tracking. Wow. Now that's a tracking. Very advanced. In the pro mode, you can shoot in raw, of course. What else do we have? Dual view for the photo and for the video. All right. Let me show you some samples. Wide angle with autofocus. See how close you can get? Insanely close. I will put the link in the description for you to download the original samples without any compression. You can see the outer focus and wide angle. That it's really good. I have to say it again because it's uh, one of those features which you love in smartphone. Check out the photos. Let me start with the macro photo. That's a zipper, very cool macro. Main lens, it was a little bit dark when I shoot that picture. Wide angle lens, pretty nice. A lot of details, 50 megapixel picture. Let me zoom in, okay. Colors. I am generally surprised it is not Over saturating the red color. It's all natural, yellow, green, and red. Because usually smartphones over saturating the red greatly. This is this one isn't. This one is perfect. And the sharpness, look at the sharpness from the right to the left. All those coconuts or melons, whatever they are, they all sharp. At the back at the Background is all blurred, separated very, very nicely. Tanks. Okay, I think it all depends on the light conditions because sometimes it will oversaturate, uh, especially blue. Look at the sky. Hmm, I don't know. At blue, it's uh, like cartoonish blue. And sometimes it is struggling with the focus. Okay, that was a very tough photo, that pipe and those people, yeah, just, that didn't came out really good. But this one did. It's an easier photo and wow, the amount of details, the, the paint job, everything looks really, really good. Buildings, a bit too sharp for, for me, but just a bit. But most of the time you will get a fantastic photo. Selfies, I think there is a beauty mode enabled which I couldn't disable. Um, maybe, maybe I missed something, but uh, my skin is not that smooth. But the separation, it's like number one in, in the market. You cannot get any better. Sharpness and separation, number one. Conclusion, this smartphone is really, really fast. Feels very nice in the hand, without the case. The original case, eh, not a fan. If you want to buy yourself a case, buy yourself a silicon case. They are very, very grippy. 
It's very responsive, makes beautiful pictures and okay videos. And I think that's all I have. It's really cool. Thanks for watching and see ya in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.